Howdy. My name is Bobby. Welcome to Garden Diva. If you're watching this video today, then you probably purchased one of Garden Diva's tie-dye do-off kits. To start off, we'll go by and see what each of your kit comes with. Each kit should contain three cans of spray paint, one piece of brown paper, one string, a bag of beads, three large pieces that we call our do-offs, and three smaller pieces that we call our ditties. At the end, this is what our product should look like. Something similar to this. So, to get started, we will move our scissors, our beads, and our string out of the way for now. What we should start off by doing is separating our pieces just a bit on the paper so that our paint doesn't overlap onto each piece. I like to spread each piece out about six, five to six inches away from each other, but if you feel like you need to spread it out a bit more, don't be afraid to do so. To start off, I'm gonna take my red spray can. I'm gonna take off the safety cap. And sometimes in these kits, you'll notice that the cap to your spray can is detached. So all you have to do is make sure that the piece where the spray paint comes out of is facing away from you. Flip it over, and you'll notice there's a small hole on the bottom of the spray cap. You wanna line that cap hole with the hole in the spray can. With the hole that the spray paint comes out of facing away from you, you'll just wiggle it on there, just ever so slightly, and it should stay. If you can hold it upside down and it doesn't fall off, you're good to go. So, to start off, I'm going to take my can and I'm just going to shake it up. We need to shake it up so that the paint mixes together and that when it sprays, it comes out evenly. Don't be afraid to shake it up too much because you can't do that. So, now that we're done shaking up our spray can, we're going to start by spray painting our Together do -off. A couple tips I like to give is to make sure when you're painting that your spray can is about 12 to 15 inches away from your piece. If we're too close, our paint is gonna puddle up and get really runny. If we're too far away, our paint is gonna disperse a lot and we're not gonna get enough paint on our piece. But if we keep it, oh, 12 inches to 15 inches away, we'll be good. So to paint, all we have to do is press on this cap right here. Keep in mind that every time you press the cap, paint will come out. So make sure that when you press your cap, it's when you want to. So we'll start from about 12 to 15 inches away. And I'm gonna paint just this side of our doo-wop. And as you're painting, you always want to keep the can moving. You don't want to sit in one spot. You always want to be moving with it. So now, now that I've got some red on there, I think I'm going to put some blue on. So I'm going to shake up my can, make sure that my paint is mixed up well enough. I'm going to take off my safety cap. I'm going to make sure my holding upside down that my cap is on. And if it's not, once again, I'm going to keep this hole where the paint comes out of facing away from me. I'm going to line up this hole and this hole and just gently wiggle it on there. All right, now we're good to go. So about 12 to 15 inches away and I'm going to start about right here. I'm going to aim for my paint to be here. And I'm just going to kind of walk it into the center there. That way I have half red and half blue. So shake it up a bit, start on the outside edge here, and just walk it in. All right. Now I see that I've got a little more blue over here than I want, so I'm gonna take my red, I'm gonna shake it up just a couple times. I'm gonna hold it about 12 to 15 inches away. I'm gonna aim for over here, and I'm just gonna walk it in a bit. All right, I think that looks perfect to me. 
Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my yellow. I'm just gonna highlight the top here. But keep in mind, you can paint these however you want. This is just kind of how I like to do it. So I'm gonna shake up my can. I'm gonna take off this safety cap. Make sure that my cap is on. It is. I'm gonna hold it about 12 to 15 inches away. And I'm gonna aim for about right here. And then I'm just gonna walk it in just so I can highlight the top of their hair. So 12 to 15 inches away. Walk it in a bit. All right, I like that. Next, I'm gonna move on to our flower. And I'm gonna start, I think this time I'm gonna start with some yellow. I'm gonna shake up my can, hold it about 12 to 15 inches away. And this time I wanna go in the center of it. I'm not worried if it gets on the petals. I'm just worried that I cover the center. All right, perfect. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of red, and I think what I wanna do is I wanna keep the center yellow, but I wanna make just the edges of the petals red. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna shake up our can, and I'm gonna aim just outside each of the petal, and I'm just gonna slowly walk it in and make sure to keep in mind that you're always keeping your hand moving as you're painting. You don't want to sit in one spot. So we're going to start back here. We're going to walk it in a bit. Ooh, that looks good. So now we're going to move on to our next petal. <clears throat> Once again, we're going to shake our can up just a bit. And I'm going to aim for right outside the petal. Walk it in a little bit. Looks good to me. I feel like I got a little of my yellow covered up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my red aside for just a second. I'm gonna take my yellow, shake it up a bit, and I'm gonna start over here this time and walk it into the center. So about 12 to 15 inches away. I'll spray and come in a bit. Let me do that one more time for us. Okay, I like that. Now I'm going to pick up my red again. I'm going to do the same thing with these, that I did to these two petals with these other four. So I'm going to start out here, about 12 to 15 inches away. I'm just going to walk it in. Now what I think I might do is I might take some blue and just give it a couple sprinkles on there. And so in order to do that, rather than holding it 12 to 15 inches away, I'm going to hold it up here, way up here, about maybe 30 inches away. I'm going to just kind of spray it, just push it just a couple times, just up and down real quick, and it gives you a nice little sprinkle of blue. Now for our moon, I think I'm gonna start with some blue. I think for my moon, I want my, just the tips here to be yellow and the rest of it to be blue. So I'm gonna start on the outside here, about 12 to 15 inches away. And we're just gonna move back and forth like this. And we're gonna go across the whole moon there. Now, to get the little yellow tips on there, I'm gonna shake up my yellow a bit. I'm gonna aim just outside of that tip by a couple inches, and I'm gonna walk it in, kind of like we did the red here on these petals. So I'm gonna walk that in. I'm gonna do the same thing on this tip. I'm gonna walk that in. All right, I think I like that. Now, for our ditties down here, I think I'm going to start with this part here in the center. I'm going to make the bottom of it blue. So I'm going to hold it about 12 to 15 inches away. I'm going to aim just outside the bottom there. I'm just going to try to walk it up, keep my spray can moving as I paint. 
Now, I think I'm gonna take some yellow. I'm gonna do the same thing, but to the top of it. So I'm gonna aim a couple inches up front of it, and I'm just gonna walk it in a little ways. All right. Well, now I think I might like just a sprinkle of red. So I'm gonna hold it way up here, and I'm just gonna press it one time real quick. Maybe one more time. Ooh, perfect. Now, I'm gonna go to our moon. I think I'm gonna start with some blue on it again. And I'm gonna start over here, and I'm just gonna walk it in, and I'm just gonna coat the whole thing. Just back and forth. Perfect. And now, I'm going to try to do this moon just like I did this moon. Instead of doing one tip at a time though, since we're smaller, I'm just going to do them both at the same time. And I'm going to aim for my first spray to be about here, and I'm just going to walk it in. I'll shake up my can 12 to 15 inches away, spray it, and walk it in just to the tip there. And now, for my flower ditty down here, I'm going to start with some red. I'm going to spray paint the whole thing so I don't have to worry about walking it in too much. So I'm going to start 12 to 15 inches away. And I'm just going to do a little circle there to cover that. And now, I think I'm going to take a little bit of blue. I just want to sprinkle it on there. So I'm going to hold it about 30 inches away, and I'm just going to press it one time real quick. All right, one more. All right. And now I think I'm going to do that same thing, but with some yellow. Shake up my can just a bit. Hold it up high, about 30 inches away. I'm just going to press it one time. Maybe one more. Perfect. Now. We need to take these pieces and let them dry for about two to three hours. And so now we'll go get some coffee, get some lunch, and hang out for a bit while these dry. Two hours later. Okay, now that our pieces are dry on both sides, it's time to string them up. The only tool that we'll need for this process that doesn't come with your kit is just a pair of scissors. To start off, we'll take our duop and we'll take our string and string it through the top hole of our duop. Now, if you want your duop to hang lower, you can make your string a little bit longer, or if you want it to hang a little bit shorter or right above the hair like I do, I'm going to pull it to about right here and I'm just going to match it up. And I'm going to snip off the long end. Set it to the side here. And now what I'll do is I'll make a triple knot at the top here. And after that, we'll take our scissors and we'll just snip off the excess. After that, we're going to take our string again and we're going to put it through the bottom hole of our duop. And on this one, we want to leave quite a bit of room. So we're going to pull out the short end to about here. And then we're going to leave our string hanging long. And so, however long you want <clears throat> your ditty to hang from your duop is up to you. I'm going to start by choosing about that length and I want to do another triple knot but I want this one to tie right up to the duop. Snip the excess here. Now what I'll do is I'll take my bag of beads and I'm going to grab one of the smaller accent beads. I'm going to set it there. What I like to do is take the end of your string here and just kind of twist it back and forth with your fingertips so that it makes a point. And that 
helps us string the bead through. So, we're going to put it through the hole in the bead, and we're just going to string it up to there. And now, I like to take a little bit bigger of a bead, one of the main beads here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to string it through the center. Now I think I might take one of these smaller orange beads and put it on as well. Now keep in mind you can put however many beads you want on here. If you have some beads at home or some that you've got want to go get at the store, feel free to get some and decorate however you want. So now that we've done that, we want to take our string and we want to tie a knot where we want our beads to hang. So if I want my beads to hang a little bit higher than that, I want to raise them up a bit, lay them down, and I'm just going to move my knot up. Alright, my beads hang. Now the last step we have here is to take our heart ditty and we're going to string it through the hole at the top. And if you want your ditty to hang way down low, you can tie it off right here. Or if you want it to hang up a little bit closer to the beads there, you can put it about right there. All right. What I like to do is grab the other end of the string up here and lay it down on the table. And now I'm just going to tie a knot right there. I'm going to do a triple knot. So I'm going to do one, two, three. snip off this excess string here and there you have it tie-dye duo thank you and we appreciate all of your support here at garden diva have a good day